Okay, in this video we're going to outline the method of reduction of order for solving differential equations. So here's our goal. So say we're given a solution y1 to this second order linear differential equation. So we have y double prime plus p of x times y prime plus q of x times y equals zero. So it's a homogeneous uh, differential equation, so we have a homogeneous solution. And I should say here that um, this highlights the importance of finding solutions to corresponding homogeneous differential equations given a general differential equation. Okay, so given that setup, we want to construct a solution to this non-homogeneous differential equation given by y double prime plus p of x times y prime plus q of x times y equals this function g of x. So, here's how we'll get started. So, um, we'll look at... So we'll look for solutions of the form um, y, which is equal to v of x times y1 of x. And so this should be no surprise. Um, there's a lot of techniques where we start with a solution to homogeneous differential equation, we multiply it by something else, and then we end up with a solution to some, uh, some associated differential equation, or sometimes the same differential equation. So the method of variation of parameters uses a method like, uses a strategy that's pretty similar to this. Okay, so good. So I'll generally write this as just v times y, um, one, so leaving off uh, the dependence on x, although it will be there. Okay, so from here, we want to plug this function, y1 times v, into this differential equation down here and see what happens. So that means we need uh, v y1 double prime plus p of x v times y1 prime plus q of x times uh, v y one and our goal is for this to be equal to g of x <clears throat> and so what we want to do is use the fact that y one is a solution to this homogeneous differential equation to get some kind of simplification effect okay so now we need to take the second derivative of this product of functions so that will give us v double prime plus to v prime y1 prime plus v y1 double prime. So I'll put that in parentheses. And then, you know, let's notice that this is spreading out into that term. And if you notice, there's something going on here that looks like squaring a binomial. And in fact, taking higher derivatives is related to uh, the binomial expansion theorem. Um, so now what we'll do is write, this is plus p of x, and now we need to take the derivative of this with the product rule. So we have v prime y1 plus v y1 prime. Good. And then finally, we have this q of x times, so we did not take a derivative here, so we can just write that as is. <clears throat> So I should point out that this is spreading into that term. Okay, great. Now we want to apply the fact that y1 is a solution to this corresponding homogeneous differential equation. So let's notice that if we take these terms that are underlined in yellow and do the appropriate uh, distribution of p of x onto them, that is equal to this homogeneous differential equation multiplied by the function v. But since y1 is a solution to that homogeneous differential equation, we know all of these terms will help each other cancel out to zero. Okay, great. So that leaves us with the following differential equation. So that leaves us with v double prime plus 2 times v prime y1 prime plus p of x times v prime y1 equals g of x. Good. So now what I want to do is collect terms. So let's go ahead and collect terms in... Um, as follows. So we'll write this as, oh sorry, I left something off here. So this should be times y1. Good. 
So sorry about that, that's times y1. So now we can collect terms as follows. We have y1, v double prime, plus, now we have two y1 prime plus p of x times y1 times the quantity v prime equals g of x. Good. So now notice, we still have a second order differential equation, but v doesn't appear, only v prime and v double prime, which means if we let u equal to v prime and then divide by y1, that gives us the following differential equation. That gives us u prime plus a of x times u equals b of x, where a is equal to, so we have 2y1 prime plus p of x times y1 over y1, and then b of x equals g of x over y1. So now notice this is a first order linear differential equation for the function u, where those functions are related to our original differential equation as follows. So now we can use the method of first order linear differential equations to solve for u, take the antiderivative of that to solve for v, multiply it by y1, because our assumption is that's the form of our general solution, and then we'll have a solution to uh, this goal differential equation. So I'll have a video where we do an example of this, but this is the outline of the strategy.